of all the many types of sound there are in the world, infrasound is probably the most um, mysterious and perhaps in some ways the most bizarre. Infrasound is defined as sound which is too low for human beings to hear, which means below about 20 hertz. Um, in fact, though, it's quite easy to sense infrasound if it's at a high, high enough level because these low frequencies have quite a profound physical effect on the body, making it vibrate, for example. Um, one of the interesting things about infrasound is that it, has quite, it seems to have quite profound effects on the human psyche, the human emotions. Um, for example, it's been found that um, where, where recordings of, of, of where musical uh, concerts take place, in, that this was an experiment done in the Purcell rooms in London a few years ago, for example, um, when a musical concert was played was played there, and infrasound was added to it, unbeknown to the audience, for some uh, for some performances and not to others. Consistently, it was found that the performances, the audiences of those performances where infrasound were present, were much more emotional or were significantly more emotional about the music uh, than those who went to the s concerts of the same piece of music with infrasound not being present. So it didn't make people happy or sad. But what it did mean is that if people liked the music, they really liked it when there was infrasound, and if they didn't like it, they really hated it when there was infrasound there. Um, this is also consistent with some findings at the end of the 20th century, um, which was actually came about through reports of a haunted laboratory, uh, a haunted laboratory in Coventry University, where people reported vague sounds of depression and unease um, and a certain unearthly quality to the place, and also even physical manifestations, or at least visual manifestations of strange uh, grey shapes. Um, after some experiments were done on this, it was found that the room was actually quite highly um, uh, subject to infrasound from a faulty, uh, a faulty fan. And when this was fixed, people's emotions immediately um, returned to normal and they felt a great lightning of spirit. And it's speculated that the reason for the uh, physical, uh, the visual manifestations might be because some of the infrasonic frequencies present were those which would make the eyeballs vibrate. It's speculated, in fact, that it might be the case that, that old buildings might be, might be um, frightening, uh, particularly when the wind's howling, howling outside because of infrasonic um, components to the sound fields there. And on more other recent experiments have shown that another effect of infrasound is to increase the um, sleepiness of people. In fact, when bus drivers were exposed to levels of infrasound which were really quite modest and typical of those which they might well be exposed to during their working life, not only did they report feeling sleepy after, after just uh, a few minutes and certainly up to an hour's exposure, these, these feelings became, became there. Their brain waves even changed so, so that to some extent they, they had some of the um, features of the brains of, of sleeping people. So that's maybe something to consider next time you get on a bus.